Hi guys, and uh, welcome to Healthy Training. It's Talia. Uh, we've just tried a little go live, and as I was reaching the end of the live video, my team pointed out that the camera was not pointing at my face, despite my good testing at the start. So hopefully now I'm sent a shot. Uh, we'll just run through some of the key things that I was talking about in this uh, little session we had here. So as I've said, I'm Talia, and I'm coming to you live from Healthy Training. Our offices here in Poole. We've recently moved office and we are now in County Gates, uh, very nice spacious offices. And the most exciting thing now is we've got a big training room where we're able to host some courses. So uh, now Facebook Live, we're going to be going out every Friday, the last Friday of every month and we're going to come out at two o'clock. All right, so this is the first of those sorts of sessions. You may have uh, started to pick that up in the last session that I did at the end of last month where I was with the moving and handling trainers. And today I want to talk to you about citizen aid, okay? Now citizen aid is to do with uh, citizens delivering first aid. And why is it a huge passion of mine? I've been a first aider since I was seven. Okay, so I was voted at school as being most likely to be at the scene of an incident handing out plasters from my first aid kit. I really love first aid and I think it's such an important life skill. So I was really excited to read about citizen aid, which is an app that's been created um, by four fantastic people uh, with huge military and um, paramedic type backgrounds, medical backgrounds. Uh, so these four guys came together and they said, okay, what can we do to help um, citizens when they want to do something to help in the event of a terror incident? Okay, so they created this app, it's called Citizen Aid. It's available on the Google Play and also in the App Store. Please do download it and it will help you walk through what you, what you could do to help, what you should do as well, in the incident of a terror uh, attack. Okay, so it will talk about in the event of a shooting, in the event of a stabbing, in the event of an exploded bomb, or in the event of a suspected bomb as well. So it will walk through those, all right, and it's really, really um, nice and simple to use the app. I found it particularly user-friendly, and the purpose of it, of course, is to help uh, increase people's knowledge so that hopefully they feel that they are competent to do something in the event of a terror incident, that they can do something to help. Okay, so it will firstly explain the correct things that you should do to keep yourself safe in those incidents, but secondly, it will explain what you can do to help save lives in those incidents. Okay, remember that it may be some time before the medical services can reach you, so it will talk you through things like how to do CPR. It will talk you through things like how to deal with a catastrophic bleed. Okay, so we'll go through how to make a tourniquet from the materials we have around, how to pack a wound. Okay, so how we can help in that situation. So I really, really think it's a fantastic app and I do encourage you to download it. Now, if you don't have one of these newfangled smarty phones, then that's absolutely fine. You can get a leaflet, all right? You can get, uh, order one online. Just search for Citizen Aid leaflet, and you'll be able to find one and get it, down, uh, get it uh, delivered to you, all righty? The reason that I want to talk about it as well is because, as I've said, we've now got some training space here, all right? The content of the Citizen Aid app is pretty heavy. Now, and I can totally understand that people may want a little bit of face-to-face -face training alongside. So what's really exciting is QualSafe Awards, one of our awarding bodies that we use here at Elfie Training, we use them to accredit our first aid courses. And they've been working with the guys from Citizen Aid to make a recognised qualification in Citizen Aid. Okay, so it's called QualSafe Awards Level 2 Qualification in Citizen Aid, and it's an RQF. It's on the recognised qualifications framework. It's a three hour course and it's going to walk you through the different scenarios. Okay, so it's going to get you using the app or referring to your leaflet to help you in one of those situations. We run through some scenarios so that you can really put yourself in that position. Okay, so as I say, we are a QualSafe Awards Centre. Okay, and we have been given the authority by QualSafe Awards to run this new course. And I'm really excited about it, as I say, because I'm a, a bit of a first aid geek, and I really like it. And I like the fact that everybody should have this life skill, knowing what to do in an emergency situation. So we've decided that we're going to put on these courses from the start. Okay, We were told about this qualification last week, this week I'm telling you about it. All right. 
Uh, we've got lots and lots of trainers who've got this great experience and we want to share it with you. Experience in first aid, experience in catastrophic bleeds, experience in serious incidents. Okay? And we want to share that knowledge with you guys. Now of course we can come to you and we can deliver at your venue if you wish. But the purpose of this course is not necessarily first aid in the workplace. We're talking about first aid that we're doing out and about, hence why it's called citizen aid, being a good citizen and helping others. So please do consider, actually, if I'm working in a little volunteer organisation, something like that, maybe I've got a group and I meet outside of a workplace and you're thinking about doing something for uh, your local area, then this might be the sort of course that you want to do. Please do get in touch. You can get in touch on our website or on the telephone, okay? Um, our number is 01202 725 or you can find our webpage online lftraining.co.uk and you can click through there and find out uh, how to get in touch with us okay this course is so fresh off the press i haven't even put it on the website yet all righty so do get in touch with us and we can give you lots of information about the course it's a three-hour course and to really kick start us delivering this course I've already booked in our first dates, okay? So we're gonna deliver the first course on the 24th of July and the second course on the 25th of July. I'm that key, all right? 24th of July, we're gonna go in the afternoon. We're gonna be based here in Poole at County Gates House, okay? And on the 25th of July, we'll do a morning session on the 25th here again in Poole at County Gates House. What do we cover in the face-to-face -face course? Because we know the content, yeah? The content is gonna be the stuff that we're seeing on the app. So in the face-to-face -face course, we're going to run through some scenarios and we're going to practice some of those skills. So we're going to talk about prioritising casualties, who we can help, how we would help. We're going to practice our CPR skills or learn them if we don't have uh, CPR skills at the moment. We're going to make sure that we are aware of how we would use a tourniquet, when it's appropriate to use a tourniquet, what I could use for a tourniquet. All right. Um, we'll talk through lots of scenarios, we'll get lots of practice. It's a three hour course, it's pretty intensive, uh, obviously we'll allow a little break, but uh, we hopefully will have a great time together, all right? I say together, obviously you guys might have had enough of me by this point, you might not want to see me for those three hours. I am working with our trainers to see who might come and, down and deliver that, uh, but it may well be me. Um, so yes, 24th and 25th of July here in Poole, and it's a three hour course. Who is suitable to come on the course? Literally anybody from the age of 14. That's the only stipulation, okay? So it's open to people who are 14 plus on the start of the course. And I would ask, please, if you are under 18, that you have considered the difficult content that we might be discussing, okay? Uh, so we can make sure that uh, you are prepared for that. Um, so yeah, anybody 14 plus, citizen aid, we're gonna look at how we can support fellow citizens to uh, deliver first aid in a major incident. And we're saying a major terrorist incident. Why is it important that we might need to be able to support with that? Because it could take, we've analysed those practice drills that uh, the medical services have performed with uh, the emergency services and they've looked at the response time. Obviously a medical professional cannot enter a terrorist area until it's safe to move forwards. Okay, so in the event of a mass shooting, it can take up to, it can take a, at least one hour and 45 minutes before a medical emergency practitioner can reach you. So we're looking at what can I do in that time to help save lives. Okay, so it's really serious content. And if you'd like to come on a little face-to-face, -face, as I say, 24th and 25th of July, we're gonna meet them here in Poole, or we can come out to you nationwide. If you've got a group together and you want us to come and deliver to you, then we can organize that for you. All right, guys? I hope to see you uh, at the end of next month uh, where I'll bring bringing some more fantastic information to you, probably from this very office. I might be around and about on the road, but I look forward to seeing you then. Last Friday of every month at two o'clock here on Facebook Live. Thanks very much.